When it comes to car audio, one of the most important decisions you need to make is what type of amplifier to get. While many different types of amplifiers are available, not all are created equal. Here we'll explore the best car amplifiers and explain what sets them apart. To find out more information and updated price of the products we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Like this video, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for future updates. Without further delay, let's get started with the list. At number 5 on our list is the SCAR Audio SKV2. The SCAR Audio SKV2 3500.1D delivers excellent sound at a reasonable price. It's one of the most powerful amps we tested, and it can handle a huge subwoofer. You also get a lot of bang for your installation buck since the amplifier is housed in a heavy-duty metal case that protects it from heat and has four-way protection circuitry. Heating the driver, driver protection resistors, and output transistors. The amplifier puts out a lot of power but handles it silently, so you can run this thing without waking anyone up. The amplifier also exhibits clean, lifelike highs, and the bass hits hard and fast. The amp is well suited for bass heavy music. Unfortunately, the amp has just one RCA input, so you have to make do with a single, mono subwoofer setup. However, if you've only got a single subwoofer, the amp handles it quite well, producing plenty of basses and keeping everything clean and controlled. It's also lovely that the amplifier has a bass boost, a bass cut control, and a subsonic filter, so you can adjust the subwoofer's power to the sound you're after. These features make this amp a great choice for the budget-minded audiophile and home theater enthusiast. Up next in fourth place is the Pioneer GM. With 500 watts per channel, the GMA3702 lets you take two speakers or multiple speakers and a subwoofer and let them play through your home audio system. In addition, this amp has a solid feature set, including signal sensing, automatic turn-on, and auto balance. Plus, it has a balanced input circuit, which lets you connect a turntable or preamp system. The GMA3702 supports multiple subwoofer configurations, so you can connect one external subwoofer or two internal subwoofers. The amp's output terminals are shielded, and it has a gold-plated speaker terminals for clearer, more dynamic sound. It comes with a remote, which has buttons for power, volume, source selection, and input. The remote control's buttons are large, but they can be hard to find in the dark. The amp's front panel display is large and easy to read, even with a bright display. We found it a little confusing at first, but once we got used to the menu system and input selection, it was easy to navigate. The GMA3702 produces clear audio that can fill a medium-sized room. While it's better than a lot of amplifiers we tested, the GMA3702 costs a little more. It's a solid choice for expanding your home audio system, as long as you're willing to make a secondary investment in a good subwoofer or speakers. At number 3 we have Rockville DB14. Get loud, get Rockville. The DB14's 4000 watt RMS is loud enough to fill a decent sized car, and its high power output means you won't have to turn that up too much. The amplifier can easily handle a pair of 6 foot subs, though it gets a bit warm to the touch, and our 8 inch Infinity Kappa 6.5 was enough to rattle the windows in our test car. With this amp, you don't have to worry about rolling off as the DB14 has a variable bass boost that smoothly transitions from zero volume to 300%. The amp's design features crossover circuitry, high and low pass filters, and a high current power supply. It can power both left and right speakers or route the amp's woofer signal to a subwoofer, our test showed it worked well when connected to subs. The amp's remote is easy to use, and the a quarter inch headphone jack lets you listen to your tunes without hooking up a stereo system. The amp has built-in protection circuitry, including over 12 different overvoltage and undervoltage safeguards, a 100 amp maxi fuse, and overload protection circuitry, so it's safe even when pushed to the limit. At number 2 on our list is the Planet Audio AC1500. Planet Audio makes some of the most affordable subwoofers you can buy, and this monoblock amplifier delivers in that regard. The AC1500.1M is a no-frills amplifier that puts out plenty of power for mid-range subwoofers, and boosts them to a level that overcomes any lack of bass impact. 
The front panel controls are simple, but the remote subwoofer control is a nice touch, as is the variable bass boost allows you to adjust the low bass within the boost range to just the way you like it. Still, the sound quality is not earth-shattering, and this amp won't compete with our top pick on sound quality alone. Again, this amplifier's low price is its most significant selling point, and it offers enough power to power most 12-inch to 15-inch subwoofers. This amp's best feature may be its versatility. You can connect the amplifier to almost any factory or aftermarket speakers. It will have no trouble giving those speakers the boost they need. Planet Audio also offers another AC1500.1M model with a maximum power output of 1,500 watts per channel. However, that amp costs a bit more and is not designed to be installed in your car, meaning it can only be used inside your house. And finally the number one on our list is the Boss Audio Systems R1004. The Boss Audio Riot Series 400 or 1004 four-channel car amplifier is affordable, with valuable features and good performance. It's not quite as powerful or refined as our top pick, the JL Audio Stealth 600, but if you're after a versatile amp that works well for both car speakers and other hi-fi components, the R1004 is worth a look. The Riot Series amps are the most powerful amps Boss offers with 2 ohm stable power outputs of up to 100 watts each in an 80 watt subwoofer channel, you can run 4 4 ohm subs at the same time. This amp supports all popular speaker types, including coaxials, mid-range, and tweeters. The Riot also delivers a smooth, clear sound with good bass, thanks partly to the variable gain control. The included remote has features not found on other remotes, like dual channel volume control and DSP. Of course, you must match your speakers and amp configuration properly, so you'll need to verify that this amp will work for you before you purchase it. The Riot Series amps are some of the most affordable around, with power outputs ranging from 80 to 400 watts. It's also a standard USB power port and comes with a 3-foot cable, conveniently located behind the amplifier. You will find all the links of these products in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends, and if you are new to the channel then subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates.